guys and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at this which is my newest uh, sonic screwdriver in the collection and here it is in its really really awesome looking box it has the uh, unit there with the unit logo jp which is uh john pertwee third of the first 1970 there yeah, number 84 property of unit dw dot Doctor Who, of course. So, there we go. It's got clasps. And another unit there. Um, and then on the side, it's got unit again. Nothing on the back. 1970 JP on the... Um, reverse there and then it's got these little things for the desk so that's it for the box the box is very well made very well detailed and it's in a nice army green color removing the clasps reveal the sonic in this nice red velvet so, let's take a look at the Sonic now. And here is the Pertwee one with the um, the bullet alignment. So this one is basically. Um, one that was seen in i think the sea devils at the f like the first episode where you look at it and um it's upside down the bullet as you can see it has a spacer on it as well which is cool uh, the bullet there as well which is awesome uh on this one the cone didn't touch the halo so the rod there and it was also a slightly darker color as well so it's nice it's got a nice shine to it it's lovely and then obviously it's brass on the inside as well there so then we go down to this bit where we've got the cone the red bit the spiral there and we've got the activation ring then we got the three lines. Then we got the handle here, which um, is awesome with the pinstriping, and then the bottom with the shear there as well. So that's quite cool. Okay, and it does come down as well. So that's quite cool. Um, so yeah, I don't know how long that that was in the in the show, but that's what it looks like when you extend it. So it's pretty cool. It's a nice, it's a heavy one. This one as well is really heavy, um, but it is still an awesome Sonic, and you know, a very important. Uh, variant to have in the in the collection actually so yeah um you get the stand out now as well the, this is the stand it's a wooden stand with those things on the back which hopefully they won't come off but yeah and then of course we've got the red tape around the bottom and it's gunmetal gray that's to kind of match with the Pertwee Sonic as it stands in there quite well actually and it looks awesome on display of course what I will do is I will take the camera off in a second and show you what it looks like stood up um, but yeah so we'll take a look at everything that's what it looks like inside it's just basically velvet 
it's a really, really nice um, uh, box, to be honest. I'm very impressed with the box. And I chose the army green colour as well, so that's cool. And I love the stand as well. Um, sorry about the dog in the background as well. That's a little bit annoying. Um, <laughs> he's excited about something, I think. Um, so... We've got the RB Replicas standard perk we won here, which was upgraded by a friend. So we'll take a look now at this one. So obviously this is the RB Replicas perk we won. But this is the standard one where the cone touches the halo. Uh, there's no spacer on this one. And also, the pin is smaller and red. Um, and the bullet alignment is obviously what it is on all the other ones. But if we take it out the stand here, as you can see, the bullet is a bit sharper on the, on the RB. But the, this one here, which was actually made by Priority End Props. Sorry, I didn't say that before at the start of the video. Well, that's it. Yeah, sorry. This, as you know, obviously isn't an RB. This is Priority End Props, which, who are a great replica company on Instagram who make amazing things, Sonics included, and stuff from Marvel and that. So, yep. Yeah. As you can see there as well, the spacer looks awesome on there. But you can see the two there, so that's pretty cool. And on this one, obviously, the colour doesn't touch the halo. Then we go down to this section, the cone section here, which the only inaccuracy on this one is that there is no dot but that's fine um then we obviously have the spiral bits which are different to, on both of these this one is a, a brighter yellow but thinner lines this one is a more subtle yellow but with thicker lines and i actually prefer the thicker lines but i don't know which one's accurate there uh the dimensions here are different as well this is smaller and thinner this is bigger and thicker same with that there. Uh, but the three lines, pretty much the same. There's not really much to say there with that one. Uh, and then literally, the handles are roughly... Uh, well, the, the Priority M1 is a bit bigger. But as you can see, uh, and also the, the pinstriping is thicker on this one as well which I do prefer quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that is obviously um, that is obviously it for the comparison. There's the two. The RB you can stand up on its own without a stand. This one you can't due to the roundness of it. So, but yeah, it is a awesome uh, Sonic. Indeed. So, yeah. It is awesome. So, there you go. Just a closer look. I can zoom in now. Give you a closer look. So, there's that nice, shiny sort of burgundy red. With the uh, alternate emitter orientation there. Then you've got the spacer. The bullet. The little rod there. The cone. And you've got all the other detailing there. So yeah, that is basically it uh, for that Sonic. Um, 
I know, I, I still prefer the Pertwee 2. Um, just a little bit, because it's more sleeker, in my opinion. So I do prefer the Pertwee 2 for a Pertwee Sonic. However, uh, like I say, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, don't really know what else to really say, uh, apart from that the, the Sonic is awesome. Um, yeah, I'll give you a quick look. There you are, that's what it looks like in the stand. Move that out of the way. That's what it looks like with the stand there. And do a quick overview. So there's the stand coming up to the body. There, spiral, red bit. In. and then the halo here which is a nice shiny red the spacer and the alternate um, shape the upside down bullet if you like and then we've got the halo So, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already, give me a nice spin, And as that comes to a stop, my video does too. Please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't done already. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.